about seven or eight games where he wasn't playing very good. He's like in the late eighties. And they asked him, how are you going to remedy this? You know, what are you going to have to do to get your game back? And he said, I'm going to start all over. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a thousand free throws. You have to start all over. we got to realize that your flesh is failing you. you got to start all over and go back to your salvation. Amen? Amen. Go back to Jesus and the cross and the cry and Christ crucified on the cross. Go back to Jesus resurrected. You want to resurrect your life? Crucified, died, and rose again. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 51. I got a little time here. We're gonna fit this in. I want to tell you something else that's been happening. A little bit off the subject, but Pastor doesn't know about this yet. We haven't had a chance to sit down and talk about it, but uh, the radio station on Tuesday did the broadcast. Pastor wasn't there, and after we're done, Mr. Hadnock gave me a list of folks. We've been getting prayer requests Amen. from all over the world. People with problems so similar to the ones we're having here, it's almost uncanny. Some of you that have talked to me in the past about what's going on in your life, I'm reading this one from this woman in Uganda. It sounds like someone that was in here had the same exact problem. Mm. Nothing's new under the sun. Doesn't matter where you live, how you look, or how you dress. Nothing's new under the sun. The same things we're struggling with, they're struggling with. Our influence is growing. It's not Kansas City people anymore. They're from all over the United States and all over the world. I got six prayer requests. Two, two to go to pastor. Say, pray for me. Pray for me. Amen. 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 But that's not the you take two requests from me and four requests from me, two requests from her. They requested us. She just emailed before because she didn't have a computer to get email on. So they were all in life abundance. Amen. So there were two that were handwritten and the other four were emailed. God is moving and he's working and miracles are being created in this little tiny house. And someone on the other side of the earth can email me and say, please pray for me. That's incredible. I'm going to read Psalm 51. And there's a reason I'm doing this. I, I wife mentioned this yesterday. Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Against thee, thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou might be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. judgest. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones in which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sin, and blot out all my iniquities. Clay, create in me a new, a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. I want to stop there. Create, in other words, make me a new heart. I don't want anything I'm explaining for between being made and being created. Made is when God used parts that were already here, like the dust in the ground. Created is the spirit he blew in you, so it's fresh and new from him. That's why we can all move and walk and talk. You ever seen the movie Jurassic Park? Yes. Where they take the little rocks with the or sap with the little mosquito and they make these dinosaurs. What they don't explain is how they got it to work. How did it come to life? It's like the Frankenstein movies. They use electricity. Something has to make that thing move. Right. That's what's created in you. The Spirit of God is blown into you. We came from the dust of the ground, existing material. But the created part is the Spirit of God blew in you. So David says, create in me a new heart. Not talking about the flesh of the heart, but the new spirit in your heart. Right. The reason I'm saying this 
is because the same way that he is coming back to God is the same way we get to Jesus. He went just like Magic Johnson, back to the basics. Repentance and acceptance from Christ. Same thing we have to do. So if your life's a little messed up or things aren't going well, you got past memories you can't get rid of, guess what? Go back to the cross and let Christ create a new heart in you and a new spirit in you. And he'll take care of the old stuff. It's going to be brand new. He used your flesh and bones that were already that he already had from your mother and your father and made you with existing materials. But the heart was created from his air. You hear what I'm saying today? You can be new, brand new, just like that nasty dollar I just gave Lisa. It's still worth it. It's still new. It'll still spend just like a new one. You can make yourself new every time you repent and go to the cross. You can take all the junk that's been in your mind for Lord knows how many years, and you can say, Lord, create in me a new heart, a new spirit. Wash me clean. Get rid of the old junk. Hang on to that every day. Pray that prayer every day. You walk like that every day. If you walk in the newness every day, it's like getting a new shirt. You just feel better about it. You walk taller. You look better. Yeah. You got to walk on. Hey, got You walk like George Jefferson. You be happy. Amen. Creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. He said, make my heart new and change my mind. 